Though Nepal covers only 0.03 portion of earth, it is considered heaven on earth as she is bestowed with nature and unparalleled beauty. It is equally renowned as the holy land of gods and land of salvation for the hermits and sages. There are many temples as the houses and as many idols of gods and goddesses as the people themselves. Due to this, Hindus and Buddhists all over the world eagerly visit this land of multifarious gods and goddesses. The Religious Centers of Eastern Region of Nepal Halesi Mahadev Halesi Mahadev caves are believed to have been dug by Lord Shiva to hide from demon Vashmashur, who had acquired the power to set anyone on fire. Halesi Mahadev Stam is also known as Pashpati Nath of the East. This cave temple has a Shiva Linga. Buddhist and Hindu pilgrims from different parts of Nepal and India visit Halesi during Mahashivratri, Ram Nuami and other special occasions. Halesi is now being developed into a tourist destination. Halesi Mahadev is in the western Kotang district, about 50 kilometers away from district headquarters of Diktel. Private airlines operate special flights to Halesi during festival season. Air transport is available from Kathmandu to Lamidana via Biratnagar, after which is a four to five walk hours to reach the temple. Sri Bara Chetra. The holy site of Sri Bara Chetra is situated at the confluence of Koka and Koshi rivers in Sunsiri district of Koshi zone. It is one of the major pilgrimage sites of Nepal, where Lord Vishnu had taken the form of half beast and half animal in order to kill the evil king Hiranyakashap to rescue the earth from his captivity. Millions of devotees come to visit this holy site, especially during the period between Karthik Shukla Dasami and Purnima Ekadasi to offer prayers to this form of Lord Vishnu. Bara Chetra can be reached from Kathmandu via Biratnagar by air and hire a vehicle to Dharan. One can either walk on foot or travel 25 kilometers in a bus from Dharan to Bara Chetra. Bura Subba. The temple of Bura Subba is situated on a hillock about 2 kilometers east on the outskirts of Dharan Bazar in Sunsari district. It is dedicated to the legendary Bura Subba, who it is believed arrived here during one of his hunting trips and disappeared from this place. Bura Subba is highly regarded and worshipped by the Rais and Limbus in the region. It is also believed that wishes get fulfilled after visiting the temple. A lot of devotees gather at this place during festivals. The religious centers of central Nepal. Swambunath. 
The temple of Swambunath is 3 kilometers west of Kathmandu city and situated on a hillock. Large crowds gather here every day to enjoy the excellent view of Kathmandu valley. It is said to be 2000 years old. The legend about the origin of Swambunath says that thousands of years ago the whole Kathmandu valley was a big lake where the first Buddha Kashyap sowed lotus seeds into it. A beautiful lotus bloomed in which a divine flame from the sky rested on it. The flower then started to float with a light and stopped in the place where the stupa is now. This is one of the world's most glorious chaityas painted on all four sides of the spire's base with all seeing eyes of Lord Buddha. It was listed in the UNESCO World Heritage Monument list in 1979. Buddha Nilkanta, also known as Narayanthan. The temple of Lord Narayan is situated about 8 kilometers northwest of Kathmandu city. Its 5th century statue is in the middle of a small pond which seems to float in water. The huge stone idol of Lord Vishnu reclining on a bed of snakes is the main attraction here. This is one of the masterpieces of stone sculptures of the Lichibi period. Though this temple is a sacred pilgrimage center of the Hindus, it equally attracts people from other religions as well. To reach here, a good bus service facility and vehicles for hire is available from Kathmandu. Sri Pashpatinath The temple of Sri Pashpatinath, one of the holiest shrines for Hindus, the meaning of Pashupati refers to the Lord of all living beings. It is a two-tiered golden roof temple with four silver doorways. There are a number of holy shrines, archaeologically and architecturally important monuments, bihars, monasteries, stupas and hermitages around here. Thousands of Hindus as well as Buddhists revere and worship this temple. A special conglomeration of devotees takes place especially on the days like Mahashivratri, birth of Lord Shiva in February, Tej in August and Bala Chaturdasi in November. The Pashpatinath temple situated in the bank of holy river Bagmati was enlisted in the UNESCO World Heritage Monument list in 1979. Bodhnath Stupa This stupa is regarded as one of the biggest in the world and is said to be built during the 5th century AD. It has become the center of Buddhist faith as devotees in large numbers gather here to pay their homage. It is strongly believed that one exempts from his sins if he walks around the stupa. It was listed in the UNESCO World Heritage Monument list in 1979. The Temple of Changu Narayan The Temple of Changu Narayan is said to be the oldest of all the temples in the valley. It lies atop a hill with beautiful scenery in the distance of 23 kilometers northeast of Kathmandu city. The temple is full of artworks on metal and wood.
The locals living in the vicinity are experts in wood carving. It was listed in the UNESCO World Heritage Monument list in 1979. Dakshin Kali Temple The Dakshin Kali Temple is situated 18 kilometers southwest of Kathmandu city with an easy access of public transport. Besides Saturday, Tuesday and Thursday of every week, the temple complex is also thronged during the nine days Navaratri of the Sain festival. One can enjoy the beautiful landscape of paddy and green vegetations en route to the temple. People have immense belief in this goddess who is believed to fulfill one's wishes. The temple lies in the serenity of a moderately thin forest. Bajrayogini Temple Saku is one of the famous religious, cultural and historical centers of Kathmandu Valley. If one walks to the north of Saku and climbs uphill for about an hour, one can reach atop the Manichun hill mentioned in the holy book of Buddhism. The Guna Monastery and the temple of Bajrayogini are situated on the lap of this hill. People come here with a strong belief that the goddess fulfills their wishes. Huge crowds gather here, especially on public holidays and during the nine days of Dasain festival, Navaratri. Saku Bazaar is about 18 kilometers east of Kathmandu city, where the Bajra Yogini temple is just two kilometers. Janakpur Dham. The Janiki temple of Janakpur Dham is the biggest temple in Nepal. It is built in the shape of a fort and is an exemplary blended model of Rajasthani art and Mughal architecture. The marble temple of Sita, Janaki, popularly known as Naulaka Mandir, is situated in the main part of this temple complex. Several important temples and holy structures dedicated to the different deities of Ramayana surround the Janiki temple vicinity. Bivaha Mandap in the temple is a special construction that celebrates Lord Ram's union with Sita. This day of celestial union Bivaha Panchami and a month-long Parikrama in which devotees cover on foot, area encircling several shrines spread in the parts of Nepal and India are the major festivals celebrated here. One can fly or take a direct bus from Kathmandu to Janakpur. Danusa Dham. Dham is another sacred place related with Ramayan. It is said that in Danusa Dham, Lord Shiva's bow was broken by Lord Ram during the engagement of Sita and the place got its name after this legend. Temples of different deities surround the region. The unique feature of the pond of Danusa Dham is such that it always remains full with water. Dhanusa Dham is about 20 kilometers from Janakpur. One can fly from Kathmandu or take a bus to Janakpur from where buses are available to Dhanusa Dham. Jaleshwar Mahadev Jaleshwar Mahadev is situated about 14 kilometers south of Janakpur. It is named Jaleshwar, which literally means God of Water, 
because of the Shiva Linga situated underwater. It is said that about 250 years ago, a hermit named Jagadesh had visited this place and meditated. He then made a holy declaration that the soil of this place would crack and Shivalinga would emerge. Due to this reason, even to this day, tradition of offering food to the hermit Jagadesh is carried out in the month of Mangshir each year and his Shraddha cultural ceremony arranged in the name of a dead person is arranged. During every Shivaratri, great religious gatherings take place in this temple complex. Dolaka Bhimsen. The temple of Dolaka Bhimsen in Dolaka district in eastern Nepal is a very important site for all Hindus. It is commonly believed that this temple was already in existence in the 7th century. There is a strong belief that people will be blessed with children if they pay a visit and worship Bhimeshwar, the idol of this temple. The devotee will also be blessed with a prosperous life and be saved from evil. The occasional perspiration of the stone idol is strongly believed to be the sign of impending natural calamity or political changes in the country. Dolokha is 137 kilometers east of Kathmandu with good service of buses. One can also hire a vehicle from Charikot, the district headquarters of Dolokha, for a few kilometers to reach the temple. Garimai. The temple of Garimai, located in Bara district of Tarai, is visited by millions of Hindus. It is a temple where the highest numbers of animal sacrifices are offered. A month-long fair is held in the month of Mangshir, once in every five years, to worship the goddess. During this fair, the devotees first take a bath in the sacred pond in the western side of the temple and offer homage to the goddess with animal sacrifices. The thousands of animals sacrificed to the goddess Gari Mai are believed to fulfill the wishes of her devotees. The temple at a distance of 12 kilometers east of Birganj and 8 kilometers from Kalaya of Bara district can be reached by a bus from both the places or one can take a flight to Simra and hire a vehicle from there. The Religious Centers of Western Region of Nepal Manakamana Manakamana, revered as the wish-fulfilling goddess, lies around 102 kilometers west of Kathmandu Valley. In the past, people had to climb uphill from Kaireni for about three to four hours to reach the temple. But now, because of the cable car service available from Kurintar, this temple can be reached within 12 minutes from the Prithivi Highway.
With a strong belief that goddess Manakamna fulfills their wishes, the devotees worship the goddess with flowers, garlands and offer animal sacrifice. They've got They've got in the confluence of holy rivers Kali Gandaki, Trishuli and the origination of Narayani is famous for its sacredness and beauty. Elderly people to devote themselves to God go to live in Devgat. There are 357 cottages, Nepal and a number of sacred and historic sites around here. A huge religious convergence takes place on Shivratri in February, Makar Sakranti in mid-January, Krishna Ashtami and first day of Sravan in mid-July. This place is also visited for cultural rituals like Pratabandha, shaving of head, wearing of sacred thread and reciting of mantra. Devgat is accessible by road from Kathmandu, Pokhara and Chitwan and is also in near proximity from Bharatpur airport in Chitwan. Bindyabasini Pokhara, which lies in the western region of Nepal, has established its own identity in cultural, geographical and tourism sector. The serenity of Ewa Lake and the magnificence of Machapuchare holds visitors spellbound. Pokhara is beautified not only by lakes and caves, but also with different shrines, temples and monasteries. Among such religious centers, the temple of Bindyabasini is a prominent one. This temple, situated on a hillock in the heart of Pokhara city, is regarded as Mother Goddess who protects and fulfills the wishes of her devotees. Situated 200 kilometers west of Kathmandu, Pokhara is connected by air as well as by road from Kathmandu and Bhairava, a border town near India. Lumbini, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. Lumbini, the birthplace of Lord Buddha, is the pilgrimage destination of millions of people around the world. The carved script of the Ashoka pillar, that means a stone pillar raised by the famous ancient Indian king, King Ashoka, found in 1896 AD in Lumbini, is listed in the World Heritage Site by UNESCO. In addition to this ancient pillar, is the newly restored Maya Devi temple that houses the stone that marks the birth spot of Lord Buddha. Also in the vicinity is Lake Puskarini in which Queen Maya Devi, Prince Siddhartha's mother is believed to have bathed after he was born. There are 31 stupas here which spread in the area of 8 square kilometers. The ruins of important building like Meeting Hall has been conserved and kept intact. Various historical sites like the Laura Court, Goti Hawa, Ningli Hawa, Sagar Hawa and Kudan related to Buddhism are also places of interest in the surrounding areas. Lumbini is accessible by air from Kathmandu to Bhairava. It is about 8 hours drive by bus or a car from Kathmandu. In 1998 Lumbini was declared Fountain of World Peace and the pilgrimage for all the peace-loving people of the world. Muktinath There is a belief that Muktinath frees one from sorrows and sufferings of life if he pays a visit to the temple. There are 108 water taps in the temple vicinity from which holy water flow out continuously. The pagoda-style temple of Lord Vishnu is the main attraction of this place. The temple lies 
18 kilometers northeast of Jomsom of Mustang district at an altitude of 3,745 meters above sea level. Muktinath is one of the four utmost holy sites the Hindus revere. The temple of Jwalamai, the mother goddess of flame near this temple, is believed to have natural gas beneath it. So one can always see vapor inside this temple complex. Jomsom is the major center of Annapurna region and tourists can find every facility to make his stay enjoyable along with the exotic beauty of nature. One can either fly to Jomsom from Pokhara or trek up to the place via the trail that passes through Kagbeni. Ponies can also be hired for elderly people and children who cannot make on foot to the temple from Jomsom. The religious centers of Midwestern region of Nepal. Bageshwari. The temple of Bageshwari lies in the heart of Nepalgan city. There is a strong belief that the wishes made within the temple when paying homage to the goddess certainly get fulfilled. People have utmost faith in this goddess, so they throng here in large numbers, especially during Dasain. A pond in the vicinity of this temple with a mustached Khadeshwar Mahadev standing upright is of great attraction because we do not see Lord Mahadev in this appearance anywhere. The temple lies just 6 kilometers from Nepal Ganj Airport. Swargadwari Swargadwari, a famous pilgrimage center in Bhutan, Midwestern Nepal, literally means the gateway to heaven. There is a legendary belief that the Pandavas, the heroes of the Mahabharata, had used this place as a gateway to heaven. This place is also related with Bal Tapasvi Mahaprabhu, Sri 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 Swami Hansananda Giri, born 128 years ago in Rumti village of Rolpa. After his enlightenment as a child saint, he used Swargadwari as his shelter. The main sacred feature of Swargadwari is a fireplace that is believed to be in existence from ancient time. Every day the worshipping of various gods and goddesses is performed around the main fireplace with religious activities like sacrificing food grains in the sacred fire still exists here. One can reach Swargadwari by bus from Kathmandu to Paluban and hire a vehicle from here. Pony ride, a unique means of transport, is also available from Bingri en route to Swargadwari. The nearest airport is Tulsipur in Dang. The religious centers of far western region of Nepal Siddhanath Baba the temple of Siddha Baba, Siddhanath Baba, is located in the central part of Mahendranagar city. It is believed that desires get fulfilled when one pays homage to Siddhanath Baba after worshipping Goddess Purnagiri in Tanakpur, a nearby Indian border city. The Purnagiri temple is a famous pilgrimage site in North India. The tradition of offering bell to the Siddhanath Baba temple after one's wish is fulfilled is maintained to this day. Religious gathering takes place at this temple especially during the Navratri 
in the month of Chaitra, Holi Purnima, Tej, Panchami and Gaura festivals. Devotees from as far as Rajasthan, India also come to pay homage to Siddhanath Baba. A flight to Dhangari from where a bus or a vehicle can be hired for 59 kilometers to reach Mahendranagar. The facility of a direct bus from Kathmandu to Mahendranagar is also available. Saileshwari The temple of goddess Saileshwari of Silgari city in Doti district in the far western region of Nepal is a renowned major pilgrimage sites of Nepal. Placed atop a mountain, this temple complex also offers majestic natural settings. Devotees in large numbers throng this temple from far and wide. A special feature of this temple is that in every 12 years the Laksha home is conducted here along with worshipping and recitation from the holy books. One has to fly to Dhangari or take a bus from Kathmandu and drive 182 kilometers from Atariya Chok in Kailali district to Saileshwari temple in a bus.